You've mentioned before that most people think a celebrity has it all, but you've been through some highs and some lows. You know, I've battled a lot. Like one day I'd be number one and the same hour, you know, I'd get a call from my husband who had just gotten the divorce papers. So I go through a lot of the same stuff that everyone else does, but, oh, I'm getting ready to perform at the Super Bowl and my dad has come to tell me that he's not really my dad. Do you know what I mean? It's pretty weird, the stuff I've been through, but it is life. I'm sort of the poster child of what happens when you make a lot of mistakes and you live in grace and you keep getting up and you keep rocking and you keep moving forward no matter what. Man, I survived spending 10 years on a bus with my mother, okay? (laughs) Have you done that? Have you done that? Talk to me. (laughs) No. (laughs) After your first appearance on Oprah, there were a lot of rumors about you and your mom, the relationship that you weren't speaking. What's the truth on the matter? The truth is... um, We are just like everyone else. We have a lot of uh, issues. But I think what's really exciting about this time is we are starting over and learning to communicate in a completely different way. The other day I called her, for instance, and and I said something, and she immediately came back with um, uh, a diagnosis. And I said, Mom, you know, that really doesn't work for me. What I need from you right now is, and I filled in the blank. And you know what? That's completely different than we used to do business. And I think after the last Oprah show, we were all so tired. We all really fell out. And, and emotionally, I was spent. You know, I, had, I felt like I had run a race, and Oprah was the finish line, and right. I slept for two days. I was so overwhelmed by that show. And we put our stuff on front street because who, what we do is who we are. Yeah. People seem to not understand that. They're like, why in the world would you air your laundry? Actually, that show saved my life. I went back and watched the tape like a coach does with his team after a game. And I saw where the fractures are. And I saw it. It's like watching your own home movie. And mom and I sat down and said, okay, no one is listening. Everyone has an agenda. How do we feel hurt? How do we honor each other and honor what's honorable in the relationship? How do we heal together as a family? And we started over. And we are literally building a new foundation. You've said before that at first she questioned you doing the show and and being on Oprah. Does she have any regrets? You know, it's really hard, whether it's a recital or it's watching, you know, your kid walk down the aisle and marry the wrong person or fail at a job. It's really hard as a parent to watch your kid be on the front street like that. Mom was really nervous for me. And I think what my parent wouldn't be. So the fact that I have succeeded and failed like I have in the public eye is very painful for her. However, I continue to show up whether I've won or lost. So that show was really painful for her. But you know what? She said to me not too long ago, she said, I really appreciate you for being so vulnerable and being willing to be real because it's really hard in this business to be that way. I had to feel good. It, yeah, it did. So I was like, um, can you repeat that into the microphone, please? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you can so you much. Get that on tape, please. <laughs> you have reached a level so. of fame that, that some only dream about. So how do you have a normal life? You talk about you just want to be real. How do you go to the grocery <clears throat> store? How do you take the kids to a movie? I give myself time. I When I go to the grocery store, I spend probably, I was just in Target the other day, and I, I ended up talking to this lady for an hour in the aisle like with Gracie or Elijah, when I'm with them, I'm mom. And it's like, you know what? I really appreciate Here's Here's an 8 by 10. God bless you. And I move on. And people seem bo- to respect that? They do Good. because they see me with my kids and they get it. Mm-hmm. When I'm with myself and I have time and I've got my lips lined, I'll take pictures in the aisle with those cell phone cameras. I do it because I've, I've demanded to live my life as, well, semi-normal. I love that you shop at Target. I was there two days ago, and um, (laughs) what did I buy? Halloween stuff, and I bought, um, you know, stuff that you really don't need, but I'm on a budget, so once I run out, that's that, so I have to kind of plan my my month around that one day when I go out and let myself get carried away. You've got it all going on. We wish you the best of luck. Got it all going on, girl. (laughs) Girlfriend. (laughs) 